Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. We're at the BEI 2015 National Conference in Denver, Colorado. Today's guest is Nick Neiman. He's with McGrath North. Welcome back, Nick. Norm, a pleasure to be here again. Now, I've read your books, and I know uh, in one at least you focus on business owners and their business model. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. What I've found, Norm, in, in working with business owners for the past few decades is there's so many companies that have done great for a long time, and then they're finding that they're hitting a stall, and they're, they're trying to really understand why is that. And what I've found through so many of those is they failed to continue to adapt their business model. Okay. And, and, and we might say that as, as we look at companies around the country, they've been Netflix, so to speak. Companies that were really good for so long that failed to really understand and adapt and grow their business model. Right. And so part of the focus of, of our practice is how do we help to advise companies to really teach business owners how to keep from being Netflix. Okay. What's the first step of that, do you think? The first step is really this. Uh, if we want to be in command of our business model. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? We do that by answering three main questions. Okay. What business are we really in? Mm -hmm. Why does my business model still work if it does? Mm -hmm. In other words, are there assumptions that I've made mm -hmm. that were true in the past that really helped to drive the mm -hmm. profits and the sales of the company, mm -hmm. but those assumptions are no longer valid? Mm -hmm. We can think of Blockbuster Video as, mm -hmm. as a company that everyone understands. They got Netflixed by Netflix, mm -hmm. and Blockbuster Video is now out of business. Right. The, the third key question is, how does my business model create, deliver, and capture unique value? Okay. Okay. This is kind of a fun question. You and I were both raised in farm farm area, not too far apart, actually. I, I remember reading your book about your father and watching him in business. I remember the story about the pony farm. Right. And I think there's probably a lesson there for business owners. Would you mind telling that story? There is. There's, there's nine key building blocks to every company. No, no matter if you're the little pony farm mm -hmm. uh, or if you're, if you're Apple or Amazon, mm -hmm. you can describe every business that exists, small, mid-sized, large, no matter what business sector, no matter what professional sector, based on nine key building blocks. Okay. And, and this has become, it's part of an international program that I've been involved with. Uh, that has created what's called the business model canvas. Mm -hmm. And and that canvas allows you to lay out the nine parts of your business model and to really understand your company better and allows you then to look at your company, compare it to a competitor, compare it to others in other industries to say how might we change, adapt, innovate our business model mm -hmm. so that we can stay in business. So the Pony Farm is one example. That at one time used to be a great business. Right. But like all business models, they're all perishable. So we have to be thinking about how do we look towards the future? How might we get into some other business that may make more sense that we can build on mm -hmm. that history that we've had in the past. Okay, great. Good interview. That was Nick Neiman. He's with the Graph North in Omaha, Nebraska. For more information about Nick, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website.